Hello, Body Rocket fans. I can't believe another year has gone by, but here we are just days away from Christmas. It's been a busy and productive year here. I didn't appreciate all we'd achieved until I wrote it down, but we've had some big wins. For me, the biggest win has to be the progress in our hardware. At the end of 2022, we showed you our pre-production hardware, and getting that into use was a lot harder than we'd expected. But we did it in August, and the results have been great. You can see them here on the BMC beside me. Got the rear sensor here and the front sensor so tucked in you can barely even see it. These eliminated the need for bulky electronics that used to be essential for the sensor's operation and it's pushed our runtime up so we can run all day on a charge now. That means it's just optimization from here to our target of 40 hours of runtime on a sensor. We also secured deals to sell hardware to Silverstone Sports Engineering Hub for their pedal efficiency rig and we sold aero testing services to Ecoy at their headquarters in France. We're starting an evaluation trial with a second apparel manufacturer now when we're talking to others. We are definitely at the point where existing wind tunnel users should be considering us as a simpler, easy to use way to, of developing their next generation of aero products. We also gained a lot of academic interest. We were selected to present at the 2023 Science and Cycling Conference, which happens every year at the start of the Tour de France. We were honored uh, with a mention in a recently released sports technology report by the Institute of Mechanical Engineers and even got invited to showcase our technology at the report's launch in London. We're now collaborating with the University of Kent on the grant that we've just secured. That's focused on extending the value of our data through AI. This strengthens an already great partnership, of course, as our head of AI and aerodynamics, Kellen Barnes, who you may have seen on a recent YouTube video we posted, is already doing his PhD there. We're also in talks with two other universities who would like to start using body rocket hardware and data in their own research. Finally, Anna, our performance data analyst, is now delivering a recurring lecture about aerodynamics and cycling for a UCI coaching course. As a company, we want to be recognized as the most scientifically valid method of measuring aerodynamics in the real world. And this year, we've made some real strides to establishing ourselves as being just that. Along with offering services to industry, we also sold our first AeroFit services to a group of age group triathletes this fall, who all went on to set personal bests in their next triathlon, so congratulations to all of them. We opened up our beta testing program to athletes in the UK, and we immediately had over 100 volunteers sign up. That includes some high profile athletes, but I'm not gonna tell you who they are until we've had our first test sessions with them in the new year. Speaking of test sessions, our beta test program kicked off in early December with a day of velodrome testing. Our goals with beta testing are to prove out all the parts of the system that will be necessary for Body Rocket to be a true, easy to use consumer product. In our first test, that meant athletes were in charge of their own testing, including recording all their own data on the Body Rocket system. The next step will be for us to leave bikes with athletes to use on their own. By the end of beta testing, we expect to be simply sending the equipment to people, having them install it on their own bikes to test and train with. But something really special happened when we asked for beta testers. We had Olympians from three different countries reach out and ask to work with us. These are some of the top contenders in cycling and triathlon, and it's an amazing opportunity we don't want to miss. However, supporting more high-level athletes takes resources we don't currently have. We're out fundraising right now to get the funds we need to do this. If you want to help, please get in touch with me. If you're watching this, it's most likely because you're already on our email list, so please just reply to that email or reach out in the comments here. We had some great fun with athletes this year as well. We met Christian in April to help him with his position on his Kdex. We found him a great position, saved him 15 watts, and he was comfortable enough that he kept it for the rest of the year, all the way through his win at the PTO uh, event in, in Singapore. We caught up with our advisor, Alex Dowsett, and spent some quality time showing him what aero testing is gonna look like for the next generation of riders and getting his feedback on how we can make that even better. He wrote a great post about it on his YouTube channel if you wanna go check that out. Finally, we had a great moment with Lance Childs and a bottle of Evian. That saw him top even Christian Blumenfeld as our most viewed at rider, with more than 400,000 people eventually clicking on the post. Working with athletes this year has given us a lot of insight into our user interface, and we've been doing some really cool stuff in AI. After showing us uh, how we could monitor a rider's saddle position and track how it changed a rider's power output in CDA, Callum went big and proved that by using all the data from our sensors, he could identify small changes in a rider's position, even if it's as subtle as just bringing your head up a little bit. 
This is pretty incredible because it means we'll be able to tell riders not just when their CDA has changed, but also why it's changed. We've even been experimenting with some ways to graphically show an athlete how their position's changing. So once a rider's done with a ride, they can replay it and learn more about their habits, and track those improvements. The craziest thing is that once we've learned your positions in aerodynamics outdoors, we should be able to also track your position when you're indoors on a trainer, letting you train to aero even when it's wet and miserable outside. So that's a wrap on Body Rockets 2023. With beta testing and hopefully a group of top-notch Olympians on the schedule for 2024, I hope to be meeting a few more of you in person next year and bringing you a lot more good news on the state of real-world, real-time aero testing. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and all the best in 2024. I'm going for a ride.